Hello guys and welcome back Hello. to the Stocking Filler Gift Guide 2022. Oh, the suspense of the pause as to what are they doing? Oh, what could it possibly be? Welcome back. If you haven't been here before, we're back for the 13th year running doing gift guides. And today we're talking about stocking fillers, which is all gifts under £20, which in today's climate and market quite is quite hard. Do I'm not gonna lie, everything might is be getting £25 really pounds expensive. Actually, maybe even 30. It used to be 15, didn't it? Could be 15. Was it 10 originally? It was definitely under 10 pounds. Anyway, I have to say, this year the selection of gifts is super random. There are some random things, but they're really good. I think they're really good. Shall Please I start? Because I've got more than you. Unfair, as but always. yeah, well, you know, it works out in the end, though, doesn't it? I'm gonna start with a book, I've got a few books. Um, but this was actually a recommendation from one of, my, one, one of my friends. This is actually a um, dear grandpa version of this book, but they have dear mom, dad, whatever, lots of relations. And it's um, From You To Me, A Journal of a Lifetime. And this is designed with kind of telling family, st passing on family stories in mind. And I've got actually got this for my dad, his birthday's in January. Um, and I'm going to give it to him for his birthday because well, and I thought the, that, when I, you I, become what I, th I thought there was going to be like you'd already got stuff printed inside it about what it was, but no, they've got to fill it out. They have to fill it out. So let me explain to you oh, about this. So I feel Here's like a present that when you have to sort. yeah, exactly. It's his <laughs> present for you that you have to fill in and give back to me because essentially, like your parents and you know your grandparents, like whoever, have this amazing, incredible long life before you're even born so the chance of you getting told all of the stories and remembering all of the stories especially when it's your grandparents if you know you're a kid you don't always remember all that stuff right. and what is really nice about this is it goes through and it's like so each page starts with a question and what did you think when you first saw me after i was born did you have an idol when you were young tell me who and why what sort of pets did you have when you were young and what were their names do you have, know any interesting information about other people in our family? Um, tell me about your p father's parents and family. Like, things like that. It's just a really nice thing to be able to pass down, I personally think. So I'm giving this to my dad so that he can fill in for the grandkids. Fair so that they know when he's not around anymore or when he's really, really old and has forgotten all the stories himself, they can look back and like know things that... He wouldn't have like been able said, to. It's not like just forgetting today, let alone. It's kind of a bit of like a sad. Years. Yeah, I know, but it's a bit of a, like a sad gift in a way, but also like a really special one. And these are on Amazon. They're about twelve pounds. So to lower the tone somewhat. This is so random. Why did you pick this one? Why did I pick this one? Well, so we Fleur can open them and try them. Espresso martinis. As these are like espresso martinis. Espresso martini sweeties. sweets. Can we open? Them? Actually, no. Um, then we'll have them no, sweet in our mouth. Sweet in our mouth. Well done. Yeah, exactly. So, um, but basically, who doesn't love an espresso martini? So espresso martini sweets. You know, time to get jacked up on sweets. They were from Harvey Nichols. I think they're Harvey Nichols' own brand, actually. Very Next delicious. thing I've got are some mugs. These are from Anthropology. I feel like I love Anthropology's Christmas stuff every year, but this year they've excelled themselves. The design, I feel like these are, and they are, a collaboration with Pauline de Roussy de Salle, um, who is an artist, I presume. Um, but look how pretty these are. These are actually for my mum. Weirdly enough, some of them are 15 pounds, some of them are 14 pounds. This one's 14, this one's 16. Can you guys tell the difference? They've both got like gilt details. I don't know why, but yeah, really nice. Anyway, they are your mum's kind of. Mum will love these. She actually spotted one house. in my thing. Was like, oh, they're nice. I was like, moving along, moving along. <laughs> Chocolate. Except you didn't watch this video before it goes out. I like them. I've got loads of pottery stuff actually. I'm going to carry on on that theme. Mm. So this is a really cool piece of chocolate, and this is from a company called Art House Charity. Community. Charity, sorry, should I say? And I'm going to read the tiny bit at the back because it's really important that I get this right. So. Art House Unlimited is a charity presenting artistic talents of adults with living living with complex neurodiverse and physiological support needs. And 100% of the sales revenue sustains the charity, enabling it to grow and evolve. And how fantastic is that? Because it looks so pretty. You're so cheesy. So cheesy. And, but what you'll <laughs> notice is there's three bars of chocolate here, but I'll oh, hold on a minute. 
<laughs> I ate that one. Yes. I was just testing it out to see if it and was I good. I didn't get to sample it. But can I just, but you didn't like it's like caramac. Beautiful. You're a vegan. Yeah, well, so what I was going to... Still, yeah, watch what you If you just look, look at these, I'm going to do cutaways anyway, but can we just take a moment for how for amazing real. the artwork is? I've had a few things from this company in the past. I've had mugs um, and a candle. They do loads of different stuff, but it's a really cool charity. I, 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 yeah, super and cool And they make again. really interesting things, and the artwork is incredible, so it's something that you would buy anyway, but it's charity. Yeah, I better. really like that one. Great combination and this, of two fantastic things. And this, also just hold the phone? This is white chocolate with lemon, meringue, popping candy, and cinnamon biscuit crunch. I feel like Dan would like That's that. a lot going on in one bar of chocolate. And it's a postcard, so it's, you can literally, you don't even have to wrap it up, look, you can just write the address on the back. Say enjoy. Snack can you tell it. I'm excited by these? And this one is white chocolate and vanilla. Should we eat Calm it? Calm down. Calm okay. down. My next one is more um, ceramics. This is from Oliver Bonus. This is really random, but really cute. It's a salt and pepper shaker. But look how cute they are. I think they're 15 pounds. They are 15 pounds. They are fantastic. I'm gonna put close ups because the lighting is so bright because we're filming at night. They just look really blown out, but they're so cute. Really, really cute. They go in this bedroom. They're kind of like very, um, what's the kind of blue pottery? Is it Wedgwood? Yeah, but that, then, like, not, not, not the, it's the, more like they're more like um kind of like yeah, cute. Oh, give away the next one then for a second. Love them. Wedgwood. Yeah, give away the next. Oh, I nearly okay. had the next one. Cool. Oh. Go on then. This is a good one as so well. This is a good one. So we played this um, whilst we were on holiday with our family, and it's called Family Time. If you guys haven't played it, it's a really fun game. So Lulu brought this when she got it out. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, oh god, what is this? Lulu is nine. So I was like, what is this game gonna be like? And it actually, genuinely, I look back at that, like, afternoon playing that game, and it's, like, going to be some of my favourite memories with my family. Like, all, all of us together. And it's actually... It's such an excitable family, but it was our memories so, of playing the board game are our best memories. It's not, but it's not a board game. It's almost just, like, conversation starters. So let me just... Let's just... Oh, it's wrapped up. This is really annoying. Also, one. can I just... These are... I think they're about seven pounds from Amazon. Can you open that? Because my nails are. Don't protect the nails. Essentially, it's a tiny little tin, travel friendly, handbag so friendly. Describe your family in, in five, five words. words. Things like that. Fantastic. And it was just really funny. Like it was just really nice. And I think it's a very good stocking filler. Basically, it's really amazing. He's cool. I love so it. Kind. I'm going to carry That's on. That's what you should say about your husband. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to carry on with the pottery theme. Again, these are from Anthropology. Little trinket jars. These are £16 and they are initial ones. So this is for my friend, unnamed, because she might watch this for her birthday. Oh, I wonder, is How it nice Robin? How nice is this? It's Jeffrey. I know it's been, ah, Jeffrey. I thought you were going to be like, no, um, it's obviously not for Robin. <laughs> so, <laughs> I just really like these. I think the design's really nice. Very nice. And they have like a nice gilt edge on them too. I picked those out. And now thought, this. You know what? I have next is a very nifty and this for any is really of you random gadget people that love your wine or spirits. This is a fantastic. It's not for spirits, it's wine. It is, it's got spirits on it. Has as well. it? Yeah. It's like wine. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's wine. Okay. Any of you just that it's like wine, wine and not spirits. So what this is, this little device, you wrap it around your bottle and you get the perfect so currently it's twenty two degrees in here. You've not got the heating turned off, have you? Um, and actually, apparently, it's I think it's because you've been holding finger, it. I don't but that's know. for a red Bordeaux claret, just so you know. Um, uh, but it's it basically gives you the, the type of wine, type of wine that, that, it, that it, you've got. You search, and then you get the perfect temperature. And once it's the perfect temperature, it's ready to drink. Or it just shows you like. I mean, you can, I like, just like drinking it. wine at my temperature. But regardless, but in, it's I very think it's cool quite to get it right. For people who are like who are, really like, into wine, they want it perfect. I think it's a cute little gadget, and it's, it's about five this. pounds from Amazon. Hinty, this is you come your way. <laughs> uh, my next one is a book, and I've got two books actually to show you all. The first one is the journal version of the life-changing magic of not giving a. F um, really I'm what? getting better at not swearing. Actually, I've never released one on YouTube, Fuck but sake. for those of you who don't know, in real life, I have quite a potty mouth, and it's been a journey being a parent for I me would because I'm love having to like for you to see a behind the scenes of Fleur's video over the last 13 years, and it's just followed by <laughs> you couldn't 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 post it live on a blood before nine o'clock. I swear, yeah, I swear a lot in life, and I've had to like since River's been talking, I've had to learn. I mean, you to... Anyway, miserably. I did it. The life-changing magic of not giving a. F 
or a duck. I'm giving no ducks because there's a lot of ducks going around. This is the, and, and ships, ducks and ships. Our house is full of ducks Lots and of ships. sugar as well. There is. Um, so anyway, if you haven't heard about this book, it's a very, very famous best-selling book. Mm. Um, practical ways to care less and get more, basically, and Love be it. happier. And it's just got you fill it in stuff that annoys me. More stuff that annoys me. Best money stuff I don't want to spend money on. Stuff I do want to spend money on. And it's just like, yeah working it out and there's actually quite a lot of reading in here as well i thought this was quite nice and i think it's quite a good, it's a good gift book. for anyone who Pretty is into that kind of stuff shall i double up you i think i've got up. more than you haven't i i've got another book as well which is this i i personally really like this you're probably going to say what the hell that's really boring it's the art of repair over the past few years i've definitely got more into like looking after my clothes and taking care of things and learning more about repairing and like be more whatever. sustainable but it's actually yes yeah, be more sustainable but also just to like actually care for your stuff like yeah anyway I look um, forward to so you it tells you darning darning, darning, darning my, my socks. socks yeah i'm not gonna tie any socks but i would however darn How rude. other things that are i mean if they were expensive socks i would but i look forward to you darning my so-called expensive socks <laughs> um yeah so there's a whole chapter on darning lovely yeah tell you what you are getting old and it's also like the pictures in here are great i am getting old aren't i am i getting okay, i mean you might need that last really page old. that you just missed maybe there. this would be a How good to don a teddy bear maybe this would be a good gift for an old person fellow old person like me or just someone that likes it or like you because you're a lot older than me let's put this face let's out. get more entertaining so who likes salmon not who you likes pure salmon not me but even though I don't obviously eat salmon anymore, I actually still love the art of cooking. I love the art of cooking meat. I generally enjoy barbecuing and like the craftsmanship that goes into cooking something. So I think this is a really great present for anyone it's a that good stocking enjoys filler. that kind of thing. Um, so what is it? If, if you love to go and cure your salmon, so you've gone and got a nice fresh salmon off for the Scottish. I feel like this is not for people who are like frequently cure. I think it's if you want to give it a go. Yeah, but anyway, if you want to give it a go, you know, pop to Tesco's, get a bit of salmon, chuck this all over it, jobs are good un. Yeah, exactly. So what is it? It's a homemade curing kit. Yeah. You didn't say that yet. I mean, what else did you expect it to be? It's basically a small kit that how allows to, you how to, to make smoke your own salmon. <laughs> make your own smoked salmon. Yummy. For those that eat salmon. I feel like I'm nearly done with my gifts. I've got two more to go. I've got one more to go. Well, I'm going to double up on my end okay mine is shortbread so old. from m and you're, so <laughs> you're such a granny oh god it's the shortbread dear <laughs> oh we'll put the kettle yeah, on but this would be a good present for grannies <laughs> just because you don't buy a present for your granny doesn't mean i don't buy a whoa, present whoa, for whoa, your whoa, granny and my granny, granny. no i buy a present no, for your no, granny no 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 she doesn't need to know that i'm sure she'll be watching right now <laughs> And she won't need to know that. Um, so anyway, you so can't Brandon, actually you see this. Light up Why can't you see this is lighting up? Can you see this? Like, you can't see it on screen, but because I can you've got see a light it a lot shining in at the there camera. Is a light. Light. It's brighter than the sun because there is no sun because it's currently pitch black and 10 o'clock at night. Um, basically, M&S shortbread tins, they put a little light in them. They did this for Halloween as well. An M&S shortbread is really delicious. It's full of mini shortbreads and it's a cute little house tin that lights up and like doubles up as a Christmas decoration after you've used it. Fantastic. What a wonderful Then you can gift. put more shortbread in it. So I have and two six to go. pounds. And to be fair, these are fantastic. Lovable coffee in the morning. This one's for me. That one's for you. Oh. Shut up. This is basically what, what I would... are you trying? It's got your face in it still. You need to do that. Oh. Uh... What it's too bright. There's going to be a close-up. Okay, a you'll have seen a close-up of that right now, but what is she trying to say? These are from a brand called Anna and Nina. Can you tell I did most of the shopping for the gift cards? <laughs> These are from a brand called I Anna and Nina. Like Patrick, but it's a really nice... Do you know what's nice about this? It's not a, like a it's bucket. It's an espresso. It's a double espresso so it's size. It's a nice double espresso size and perfect lip size as well. Nice I feel like thin. all this will go to be a small flat white. And that's uh, too small for flower. I just really like them. They're very like handcrafted. Yeah, and, and also like, nice weight. So like quite light, very much kind yeah. of like for a quick, quick shop. I Done. love them. Love Exclusively them. handmade for Anna and Nina in Portugal. And speaking of coffee, speaking of coffee. Do you want to put this? Back? Yeah, these go together. Nicely. These do go together nicely. See, I dovetail okay, mine. Can I just whoa, caveat whoa, this? Whoa, 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 sweet child wine. This is like on the borderline of stuff that you could buy someone as a gift, but for the person who has everything. 
this would be fantastic something. including a nespresso machine with the original capsules not the virtuo one but so what i think is fantastic about this so this is an aluminium compost recycling capsule um but what capsule does, recycler is it allows it's not a, to, it's not a capsule no, it's a capsule it allows recycling. you to recycle your capsules if i can get it out at home without having to take them into the drop -off. so you basically stick your little capsule in there it's got a little lid presser in there okay. Push it down, knocks all the coffee out, means you can take your metal away and put your metal in the recycling bin. I think it crushes bin. the exactly. metal too. So it gets a nice and flat. And then all your coffee you can use as compost for your roses, for your flower bed, or even if you're growing some cucumbers. Or if you don't have a garden, you can put it in your food waste bin. But so, you can get a nice little um, sort of shelf plant All right, bed, yeah, we don't need electron on window, window boxes, do we window now? Anyway. Great. It's a cool bit of kit though, it is really good. It's actually genuine, like, if you have an espresso machine, I feel like this is a great gift. Must. I think it's about £8 or something like that. Yeah, it's great. But very good, it allows you to recycle your coffee at home. That's Cycle it, away. stocking filler gift guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I told you it was going to be random, and I feel like I delivered on that front. Nailed it. See you soon guys. Take Merry care. Christmas, you filthy animals. <laughs> Bye.